Hello everybody, it's Rob here. Rob Bidolf, look, there I am, dressed as a pirate. Why am I dressed as a pirate, I hear you ask, well, it's because that's the picture in this book here, which is called Sunk, which is all about some pirate penguins. Now, as I said, my name is Rob and I'm a children's author and illustrator. You might know me from that pirate book, Sunk, or you might know me from this book here, which is called Give Peas a Chance, part of my Dinosaur Junior series. Maybe you've seen this one, it's called Blown Away, all about a penguin who loses his kite on a very windy day. Right, we are here today to draw a picture. Surprise, surprise. Now then, the picture we're drawing today is of one of my favourite animals in the whole world. And do you know what? I think it might be an animal that you maybe have never heard of before. The animal is called a blue-footed booby. Isn't that a funny name? Would you like to see a picture of a real-life blue-footed booby before we start drawing one? You won't believe it, but this is a real animal. Look at this guy. Isn't he cool? Look at those fantastic feet. I just think they are the best birds that I have ever seen. Now they live down in Oh my gosh, I can't remember where they live. I think they live in the Antarctic somewhere. Down there, somewhere around there. Um, if I'm wrong, I'm gonna put up the correct location of where they live on screen now because I probably should have done my research before I started this video. But don't you just think they are the coolest looking animal? And I thought it would be fun to draw a blue-footed booby with you guys today. So, this is what you are gonna need. A piece of paper, a pen, something to draw with and then maybe a little bit of something to color with later although we might not need that many colors it's up to you really right just in case you haven't seen any of my videos before this is how it works lots of people lots of children in particular say to me that they don't think they're very good at drawing but I believe that everybody can draw it's just a question of knowing the order to do the drawing in so this is how these videos work I start doing a drawing on my piece of paper here. I just draw a tiny little bit of the drawing. Then you can pause the video and you can copy exactly what I do. Then start the video up again, I'll draw a bit more. Pause it, you copy what I do. Start it, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw. And then at the end, when all these little tiny pieces are put together, like a jigsaw puzzle, we end up with a lovely drawing that we're very proud of. Okay, so that's how it works. Right, the blue-footed booby. The very first thing that we need to do on our page, somewhere towards the top, is we need to draw a circle, but not a complete circle. We're going to start at the bottom part of the circle like this, and we're going to go around here like that, and we're going to stop before we get back to the end. Okay, so maybe sort of five sixths of a circle <laughs> like that a circle with a gap at the bottom that's what i could have said isn't it if i'd have been sensible i'm just going to neaten mine up here like that so there we go a nice easy start to our blue footed booby drawing the next thing we're going to do is from this point here the bottom right hand point of our circle we are just going to draw a dead straight line coming down quite far, let's say to about there. Okay. Next, from the other point of our circle, we're gonna draw another straight li line coming straight down, but this time we're gonna go a little bit shorter. We're gonna go to about there. Okay, so it looks sort of like a big lollipop with a wonky bottom. <laughs> Next. From this point, so the shorter of our two lines, we are going to draw a horizontal line coming across just like a few centimetres, five centimetres, something like that. Okay, this is quite easy to draw this little creature here. It's good fun actually. And you should be able to draw, once you know how to draw one, you can draw as many as you like with all sorts of different coloured feet. <laughs> Okay, the next thing to do, from the end of this line here, I want you to draw a big sort of semicircle that's gonna come all the way around and join up with this other line here, like that. And this is gonna be our booby's body. 
because we're going to draw our BB who's going to be walking in that direction there. Okay, should we give our booby a face? Let's give our booby a face. We're going to start with a nice beak. So right in the sort of the centre part of the circle on this side, I want you to draw like a rectangle but with a rounded end, just sticking out. And this is going to be our booby's beak, like that. Okay. And then we're going to make our booby smile. So in the middle of this rectangle, I want you to draw a thinner line that comes along. And before it gets to the end, we're just going to go up in a little smile, like that. A nice, smiling, booby beak. Okay. Let's give our booby an eye. But before we do the eye, we, they've got these kind of dark marks around their eye. So what we're going to do from here, so a bit lower than where your beak joins the circle, from about here, we're going to go along in a straight line. We're going to curve around and go up and then we're going to join back up again above the beak. So it sort of surrounds where the beak joins the head like that. And then in the middle at the end, uh, yeah, in the middle at the end, make, that doesn't make sense, Rob. Come on, explain yourself clearly. <laughs> Sort of at towards the rounded end of this shape here, I want you to draw a nice big circle. Like that. So the curve of your circle sort of follows the curve of that shape that we just drew. Just like that. And that's going to be the outline of our boobies eye. Now I'm going to show you something quite cool. Because we could just put a we could just put a pupil in the middle of our boobies eye and make it look um, like a regular eye, like we would draw an eye on all of my other drawings that we've done, which is fine, you can do that if you want to. But I thought I'd make our booby look a bit, sort of like, a bit sort of knowing, a bit sort of smug, a bit sort of sly almost. And this is how you do that. If you draw a horizontal line straight across the middle of your eye, like that, you can even come out a bit at each end, and then sort of just left of centre, you draw the sort of semicircle and colour it in um, of the pupil. Look, it just looks a bit sort of like, hmm, oh yeah, yeah, I'm a booby, so what? What are you going to do about it? I'm cool. And I just thought it's quite a fun <laughs> expression to give this little creature. And let's add a little eyebrow, shall we? We add an eyebrow just up here, and it makes him look even more pleased with himself. Look at that booby. <laughs> He's cool. Okay, next, we're gonna go down to the body now. So, this is our booby's body, but he's, he's got his wings sort of tucked away here, and this is how we're gonna draw that. We're gonna draw another semicircle, sort of, I'm gonna do this slightly thinner than the other lines. It's gonna come down and go around and join up again there, okay? So this is gonna be the outline of his wing, and then just inside that, I'm gonna do a few more lines that follow the same shape. And this is just going to give it a little bit more sort of texture, just like that. Okay. Our little booby's wing. Oh, guess who I can see standing at my door, wanting to come in. You guessed it, you guessed it. It's Ringo. Wait, what are you doing, Ringo? You want to come in? No, he's, going, he's lying down now. Lying down outside. It's a nice day today, so he's going to lie down in the sun, I think. Right, where were we? Right, we need to give our booby a tail. So, coming out of this corner of our booby's body, I want you to draw a sort of slightly diagonal line, a few centimeters long, like that. And then coming out at the same point, another one at a slightly different angle, like that, that we're going to then join up to make a sort of fan shape. So like a triangle with a slightly rounded end here. And then let's add, we've added these lines around here. Let's just add a few, maybe three thin lines in here just to suggest feathers. There we go. So we've done our baby's head, beak, eye, neck, body, wing, and tail. What's next? the legs and the feet. Now, this is where we're gonna have a bit of fun. I'm gonna change from my black pen. I've got a blue pen here, because I'm gonna draw my blue footy booby with blue feet, but I thought you should do any color feet that you like. You might just wanna keep it black, 
just have black, it could be a black footed booby, could be a red footed booby, a green footed booby, a yellow footed booby, a rainbow colored footed booby. Anything you like, there are no rules to this. So I'm gonna show you how to draw the feet, but you can do them in any colors you want, okay? So the first one, we're gonna do our booby walking along. I'm just gonna test this on another piece of paper here to make sure my pen is working. It's not particularly. That's handy, isn't it? Well done, Rob. Preparation, you should check this out beforehand. You know what, I'm not gonna use that pen. I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna use this pencil instead. That's fine, it will still work just as well. And what I want you to do, coming down just from slightly left of center, so if you imagine the middle of your booby is about there, just from the left, I want you to draw a diagonal line coming down about that far. Okay, that's gonna be at one of our booby's legs. And on the end of that line, we're gonna draw three more lines. One, two, three. And that's gonna form the main part of our blue-footed booby's foot. <laughs> sorry, I'm a bit sniffly today, I'm sorry about that. The next thing to do is we're gonna draw another leg this time, because he's walking, this leg is gonna be going at a different angle. We're gonna draw a diagonal line coming down like that, first of all. Then we'll draw our three lines again, like that. And look, our booby has got two legs and is trotting along quite happily. Now they have these really cool webbed feet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna press a bit lightly with my pencil and I'm just gonna color in just between the toes, like that. Just coloring in slightly lighter and that creates a nice web foot effect. Good to see your, your drawings, maybe with rainbow colored feet. I wish I'd done that now. That would be really nice, wouldn't it? So there we go. There's our little blue-footed booby, almost complete. Then I think I'm gonna do a little bit of shade. Let's do a little bit of shading now. So I might go into super speed mode for this. Now the majority, the color, the main color of your booby is pretty much black and white. The body is pretty much white, a little bit of sort of gray around the head. Um, and the, the wings and the tail, they're sort of darker gray really on the actual booby. But again, I think you should do whatever you like color wise you could maybe do each stripe a different color here each little bit of the tail a different color the eye a certain color maybe maybe you could do the beak different color i think i might do my beak yellow actually and maybe the eyes i think the eyes were green let's have a look at our booby again let's have a look at our photo of a booby again just have a look can you see what i mean they're the actual colors of the booby they're sort of green aren't they those eyes so maybe you could do green eyes, but whatever you want to do. But either way, I'm about to go into super speed mode and I'll see you in a second or two. Here we go. Okay, so there we go. There's my little coloured in booby. As you can see, I stuck pretty much pretty closely to what the actual boobies colourings are, but hopefully you've done lots of different colours or maybe you've done the same as me. Whatever you want, it doesn't matter. The last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add, I thought it'd be fun to add a few footprints for our booby. So this is how we draw a footprint. We try and follow the shape of that foot pretty much. One, two, three, we add a little bit sort of sticking out the back like that. And then we'll do another one here. One, two, three, just a bit like that. And we're gonna do our footprints, let's draw him. We'll say this particular chap has walked around this corner from over there somewhere. The blue footed booby approaches. Oh, how cool, let's turn him around there. So he's gone on a little journey, just from somewhere over there. There we go. There is a finished blue-footed booby drawing. What do you think? The very last thing that we need to do, as always, we need to sign our drawing, don't we? Oh, let's get this straight here. Okay, I'll put my name down here, Rob. And there we go, our very own blue-footed booby. Now, 
hope you've enjoyed drawing along with me. Don't forget to ask somebody to take a photo of your drawing and then they can post it on social media using the hashtag drawwithrob and that way I'll hopefully I'll get to see it and also it might make the grid of blue-footed boobies at the end of the day. Um, so do do that. Share your drawings using the hashtag drawwithrob. I hope you've had a good time drawing along with me today and I'm going to see you again very soon for another Draw With Rob video. But in the meantime, I want you to take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.